Okay, so this is the hole I'm talking about. Uh, in my last workshop I had a uh, vice belted here, just to the left, you can see the holes. And it was always in the way, whenever I wanted to do a slightly bigger job, um, because I had such little room in there, it was a real pain. So when I moved here, this is what I did. So I'm going to take five minutes and show you how I did it. Now I did it on that bench, which has got a 3.8 thick top. I'm now going to do the same on this bench, which has only got a quarter inch thick top, but I just think it will be really useful because this one is um, on wheels as well, casters, and I move it around the workshop quite a lot. So I just think uh, another hole in this one would be really handy. So I'm just going to quickly show you what we're going to use. Now all I've got is uh, two bits of tube that slip one inside the other. It doesn't matter what size they are, these are um, the small one's two inch, I'm not sure what the big one is but it goes in nicely, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit sloppy because once you've done it up it doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter, as I say, it doesn't matter what size they are as long as one slides inside the other and I've got this, um, it's a very fine, come on focus you fecking thing focus, there we go, very fine um, bolt, I think this is 12 mil, maybe a bit bigger um, and it looks like it was probably a wheel stud but nice and fine so it tightens up pretty hard and a bit of scrap half inch round that I'm just going to use uh, for the lever and of course uh, a hole saw, you don't have to use a hole saw whatever you've got, you've got a plasma or um, a drill or whatever you've got doesn't matter, gas you can use whatever you can now I'm going to stick it on the corner here about four inches in and put it in the corner so you've got a bit more stability and that I'm just away from these corner braces but with it only being quarter plate it could well uh, move a bit if I've got anything big in there I don't know why I didn't do this in the old workshop um, because it would have made life so much easier because I was so restricted for space um, it was just a nightmare. But having done this now, I've moved. I say, so I wish I'd done it years ago. All right, let's get some uh, cutting fluid. That'll make life a bit easier. I don't think this will take too long. I actually cut the bigger one in the 3.8 plate with this hole saw as well, so we will get there eventually. Nearly there. Try it for fit. Look at that, perfect. Lovely. You can see I've chamfered the pipe, but I'm also going to chamfer the top of this just so we've got something for the weld to bite into. Let's use this die grinder. Again, you don't have to use die grinder, you can use a file, um, a stone wheel on a, a drill, whatever, whatever you've got. I've got this and they are worth their weight in horseshit these things. I use this die grinder all the time. Absolutely worth the investment. Providing you've got nice sharp bits that is, carbide burrs. They really are useful. Perfect. Just got a nice little V for the weld to bite into now. So before we go and weld it in, I'm just going to put the hole in for the bolt. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm having it near the bottom, quite near the bottom, because I've um, found with the first one, you don't want it too high up, otherwise you can't get much of a lever on it. Um, 
and get any leverage to tighten it up. So having that's why one of the reasons for having it quite long, so that you can get plenty of leverage on the, uh, or have a longer lever to get plenty of leverage to tighten it up. Plus, it makes it more stable with it being longer when you're heaving on it. I don't do a lot of heaving on it. I've got other bench vices permanently attached for if I really want to lean on something. But sometimes I still do want to give it a bit of grief. There you go, fits in there nicely. Let's go and grind off the uh, galvanised. Right, what are we looking for? Where is it? There it is. Grind that off. Now don't worry about galvanised. Don't take any notice of all these doom and gloom merchants. Oh, it'll kill you, it'll kill you. It's a load of nonsense. I'll put a link in the description to a, an article that explains it all. Um, and as for the people that have died from it, it's basically only because they've absolutely uh, intoxicated themselves with it. If you, know, if you drink enough water, it'll kill you. Um, it's just moderation. So go and have a look at the article before you start screaming and hollering about galvanised. Right, that's just about straight. We'll tack that on there. Again, it doesn't have to be a fine threaded bolt but it does tighten up tighter if it's finer thread but on the other one the first one I did I just used a 12 mil ordinary 12 mil bolt but I happened to find these the other day and I thought that'll do the trick I'm just gonna go and cool that out and then we can put the bar on all right it's cooled that out and now I'm just gonna put the tube in and tighten it up just so I know where it bites tighten it up a little bit and then I'm going to place my T-bar about there Just so when it's tightened up, I know exactly or approximately where it's going to be. Makes life easier under the bench. That's it. Done. Just a job. Lovely jubbly. So let's see if we can tack her in. Now I'm going to put the handle at the back away from this corner braces um, purely just to make it easier to get hold of. I don't want to be struggling with getting my hands in between corner braces so I'm going to face it away. Uh, let's just find something to get the level. Let's tack that in there. And once I've got a tack on it, let's make sure it's sort of upright. I'm not going to worry too much. The only thing that really needs to be pretty upright is the, the tapping machine. Everything else just sort of sits where it sits. Let's find myself a square. Thank you. 
pretty good to me. Near enough's good enough in this shop. Check it the other way. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Another couple of tacks. Welder up. That'll do for me. Right, it's nothing fancy. The uh, galvanising has spit back a little bit, but. Hey ho, it's got it. Hello, mate. Nearly done. Like so. Clean her up. We've really got to put a new disc on here. That one's just about had it. These ceramic discs last forever. Well, not forever, but for a very long time. Much longer than the ordinary flaps. Just going to take the, there's a little bit of a burr on the inside there, where the world is splattered. Isn't that galvanising? And that's got it. Lovely jubbly. There you go, simple as that. You know, you could go wild and put braces on underneath and all sorts of things, but as I said before, I'm not going to give it that much grief. This is plenty strong enough for me. Let's show you what things I use in it. So that's the the main one I made it for originally on the, the other bench. You can have it in any direction and if you're worried about it moving you really want to keep it still. If you put it on a square plate like I've done here, put a hole in the back like I've done and then you can drill and tap a hole in the bench and just stick a bolt in and it holds it nice and firm. If you don't want to use a bolt you could use a um, just a peg. Drill a hole, drop a bolt in without a nut or anything just to stop it moving. There's my polisher, linisher, whatever I want to use on it. Again can put it in any direction and because this bench is on wheels it makes a lot of dust. I could even wheel it outside. So so useful. Really is. And these are just the tools that I've already um, put pegs on that you know my um, farrier's vice that I used to use in the truck put that in there if I want to do a little job and the most useful at the moment because I'm doing a lot of it is come on get it out get the most useful one in my tapping machine. This has been so useful since I bought this. I have got one that goes in the, the drill, drill press, but this one is so much quicker, so much use, more useful. Absolutely brilliant this DeSuta. Cracking bit of kit. So, the possibilities are endless. Limited to your own imagination. You can put in whatever you like. All you need is another bit of tube and a plate that you can bolt it to. So, thanks for watching. I hope it's been helpful to some of you. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.